Dear friends in Jesus Christ, Today we are in the 31st Sunday of Year B. The Gospel of today is taken from St. Mark chapter 12 verses from 28 to 34. This passage is the discussion between Jesus and the scribe concerning the first commandment, the greatest commandment in the scripture. One of the experts in the law came to him and asked, What is the first commandment of all? Jesus answered, The Lord our God is one Lord and you must love the Lord your God with your whole heart, with your whole soul and your whole mind and your whole strength. This is the second. You must love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment which is greater than this. There are 613 precepts in Torah. These precepts are divided into two groups. They are positive precepts and negative precepts. 365 precepts equal to the number of days in a year are negative. They speak about things of not to do. And the other 248 precepts equal to the number of the parts of a human body as per the scientific knowledge of that time are positive precepts. They speak about things of to do. Out of all these precepts, Jesus gives them two laws, two precepts. The scribe loved this answer because it was deeply rooted in the Old Testament and it highlighted two important passages. The first is from the book of Deuteronomy chapter 6 verse 4 about loving God. This was something every Israelite knew by heart. They recited it every day. The most important command was to love God with all that you are. The second passage, love your neighbor, is taken from the book of Leviticus chapter 19 verse 18. This combination summarized the whole law. God wants both love for him and love for others. So for Jesus, the whole of the Jewish law is to love God, to love others and to love oneself. Love must be the center of one's life. Love must be the foundation of one's life. All the words and actions must be the fruits of love. Jesus himself was an example of this. His whole life was based on love. All his words and actions promoted and carried love. His suffering, death and resurrection are testimony of love. Testimony of sacrificial love. Testimony of unconditional love. Now, we may ask, what is love? The word love is the most misunderstood word today. Many people, including great spiritual masters and philosophers, have reflected on this. I would like to mention few of them. Love is a set of emotions and behaviors characterized by intimacy, passion and commitment. Love involves care, closeness, protectiveness, attraction, affection and trust. Love is associated with a range of positive emotions including happiness, excitement, life satisfaction. 
but it can also result in negative emotions such as jealousy and stress. Love always aims for the good and the well-being of others. We can mention many more, but what is important is, what is love for you? How do you define love? How do you express your love for God and to the fellow human beings? What blocks you? What stops you from loving God and others? Sometimes our past sinful life blocks us to, lo to love God. Our pride blocks us to love God. Our dependency and over-dependency at times on material things blocks us to love God. Same way, lack of self-acceptance blocks us to love others. Lack of trust blocks us to love others. Lack of compassion and forgiveness block us to love others. Jealousy, anger and fear block us to love others. Possessiveness blocks us to love others. Self-doubt blocks us to love others. Dear friends, thus this Sunday, the Gospel calls us to examine our life. Is our life centered on love? What is love for you? How do you define love? How do you express your love for God and to the fellow human beings? What blocks you? What stops you from loving God and others? Let us pray. Dear God, thank you for the gift of love. I pray that you would use me to share your love with others. May this world know real love and may they be moved by it. Help me to live out love. Help me to love you. Help me to love my fellow human beings. Amen.